in this video we will talk about binary substrings binary substrings form an important subclass of binary trees or we can say binary substrings are special case of binary trees in an ordinary tree we have seen that the elements are not ordered in any way however data are required to be ordered in many applications information in the nodes in a binary search tree is maintained in some order usually the nodes in a binary search tree represent some records and these records are ordered records are ordered on some key properties therefore the information part of a node in a binary search tree is assumed to have some key attributes for the purpose of studying binary search trees one may just concentrate on this tree thus the information field of nodes in a binary tree will be referred as just keys as we have observed that traversal operation in binary tree follows a particular order that is left subtree always will be visited first before root and right subtree however keys associated with nodes don't do not uh, maintain any order if we impose some criteria to a binary tree then the binary tree becomes a binary tree binary search tree now let us define a binary search tree a binary search tree is a binary tree which is either empty or in which the following criteria are satisfied all keys of the left subtree of the root are less than the key in the root all keys of the right subtree of the root are greater than the key in the root the left and right subtrees of a binary search tree are binary search trees once again so from this criteria we could see that the definition of binary search tree is recursive as binary search tree is a special case of binary tree and uh, from the definition of binary search tree it is very clear to us that if we impose some criteria to a binary tree then the binary tree becomes a binary search tree here uh, we have two binary trees one on the left hand side other on the right hand side the binary tree on the left hand side is having a number of nodes which are arranged in a particular order that means the nodes which are on the left subtree are found to be less than the key in the root and the nodes which are having on the right subtree are found to be greater than the key in the root therefore uh, this binary tree this binary tree became a binary search tree on the right hand side we can see another binary tree but uh, here uh, we see that the nodes are not arranged in a particular order because uh, there is one node which is having seven key value is found to be greater than the node which is having key value four but uh, seven is given as the left child of four and uh, since seven is greater than four therefore the seven should be the right child of four therefore uh, we can conclude that this binary tree is not a binary search tree as of now we are made familiar with the criteria to be associated with a binary search tree and we saw an example of a binary search tree now we will talk about some basic operations which are to be performed on a binary search tree the first operation is search operation the second operation is insertion operation the third operation is deletion operation now in search operation a particular node having a key value is to be searched 
in the binary search tree. To search a key in a binary search tree can be defined recursively. First the key is compared with the key at the root. If the key is equal then search operation terminates successfully. If the given key is less than the key at the root then search operation is initiated at the left subtree of the current root otherwise the right subtree of the current root is to be searched. The search operation terminates unsuccessfully when search is done on an empty binary search tree. Let us consider a binary search tree which is given on the right hand side. Now further we consider the node which is having key value 6 is to be searched in the binary search tree. Now first the 6 will be compared with the key value at the root. So key value of the root is 8. So after uh, comparing 6 with 8 we can see that 6 is less than the key value at the root. Therefore the search operation will be initiated on the left subtree. In this slide we will try to understand the search operation which is performed on a binary search tree through a function definition uh, defined in recursive way. Before that uh, we need to define a structure for each node in, in a BST. The name of the structure is BST node and there are three members. The key which is associated with each node is assumed to be integer type and uh, there are two pointers one is left pointer and right pointer the left pointer will point to the left subtree and right, uh, there is a right pointer which will point to the right subtree and this uh, structure is self referential structure then we come to the uh, function definition for search operation where we can see there are two uh, parameters are considered one is a uh, root pointer which points to the uh, root node of the binary search tree and another is the uh, another is another variable k is taken for the given key firstly we uh, firstly we check whether the tree is empty or not if tree is empty then root uh, then the root pointer will point to the null and then it will return 0. If the root, if the tree is not empty, then the key in the root will be compared with the given key. If it is found to be equal to the given key, then it will return 1. That means the uh, search is successful and uh, the key given in the root will be the uh, searching element or the searching key. If uh, the given key is not equal to the key in the root then then key uh, must then key may be uh, less than then the given key may be less than the key in the root or it may be greater than the key in the root. If it is found to be less than the key in the root then the search operation will be initiated on the left subtree otherwise the search operation will be initiated on the right subtree. As this, as this function definition is defined recursively so we can have its iterative version. In iterative version the function definition will not be uh, given in recursive way. So it is up to the readers who, who are interested to have their iterative version for the search operation. The next operation that we perform on a binary search tree is insertion operation. Let us consider a binary search tree 
is given in which we will insert a new node at a proper position into the binary search tree. Let us, uh, uh, let us know how insertion operation works. Insertion of a node with a key k in a BST T can be defined recursively as follows. If the tree is non-empty, then k is compared with the key of the root of BST T. If the key is less than that of the root, then the key is to be inserted into the left subtree. Otherwise, the key is to be inserted into the right subtree. If the left or right subtree is empty, then the new node with key k is set to be the left or right child of the current node. In this slide, we will try to understand the insertion operation into the binary search tree. A binary search tree is given on the left hand side of the slide. Here we can see there are uh, nine nodes which are given in the BST. And a new node, let us consider the node 11. Node is having 11 key will be inserted into the binary search tree. So uh, initially what we do, we compare the key, the given key of the new node with the key of the root node. If it is found to be less than, if it is found to be less than the key of the root, then the insertion operation will be done on the left subtree. Otherwise the insertion operation done on the right subtree. So here we can see that the given key 11 of the new node is found to be greater than the key of the root node. Therefore, the insertion operation will be performed on the right subtree. Here we can see that on the left subtree, rooted at 10 is having two other nodes 14 and 13 and 11 is less than 13. Therefore, the 11 will be inserted as uh, left child or left child of node 13. Now look at the function definition which is defined recursively for insertion operation. In this insertion operation, we will consider two important parameters. One is the root pointer, another is the pointer to the new node. So idea is that uh, initially we will compare the new node with the root node. If the key in the new node will be found to be less than the key in the root node, then the new node will be inserted on the left subtree. Before we insert the new node in the left subtree, we have to check whether the left subtree is empty or not. If the left subtree is empty, then the new node will be inserted as the left child of the root node. Otherwise, we will go for, for a proper position on the left subtree and insert the new node at the proper position on the left subtree. Otherwise, we will go for the right subtree and uh, if we see the right subtree is found to be empty then the right pointer of the root node will point to the null and the new node will be inserted at the right child of the root node otherwise we will go for the right subtree and uh, insert the new node at a proper position on the right subtree here we may be interested to know the time complexity of the insertion function if the height of the uh, binary search tree is given as h, then uh, it will be uh, it will be easy for us to compute the time complexity in worst case. Again, if the tree is skewed, if the tree is given as skewed binary search tree, then uh, it may be a uh, it may be it may be a different, uh, it may be a little bit difficult to have the time complexity or uh, end nodes. Right? 
now we will consider deletion operation where the deletion operation deletes a node from a binary search string in deletion operation the node which is to be deleted is usually first found out in the given bst employing search operation and then the node is deleted the node which is to be deleted may be a left node or may have one child either left or right child or may have both left and right child in figure a we have a binary search tree and uh, there are four uh, leap nodes or terminal nodes if we want to delete a leap node let us consider the node which is having 20 key value is to be deleted then we just simply using the function free we can delete this leap node from the binary search tree in figure b we have another binary search tree where a node which is having 30 key value is having only one child which is the right child and uh, left child is empty and uh, in this situation if we want to delete the node which is having key value 30 will be deleted and then uh, then we first copy the content of the content of the uh, right child to the deleted node then we delete the uh, right child of the node having 30 key value after deletion after deletion of the node having 30 key value will be look like the figure c now we can have a situation where a node may have uh, both the child left child and right child in that case we have to find the in order successor of the given binary search tree uh, then we will see what is the in order successor of the deleted node the node which is to be deleted and uh, if we if we identify the in order successor of the deleted node then we will copy the content of the in order successor or in order predecessor to the node and delete the in order successor in the given uh, in the given example of binary search tree on the left we can see the root node having key value 50 is to be deleted now to delete the root node having 50 key value we have to first find the in order successor of this binary search tree or in order predecessor of this binary search tree then we will copy the content of the in order successor or the in order predecessor of this root node and then finally we delete the in order successor or in order predecessor here in this slide we will try to understand the deletion operation through a function definition which is made recursively the name of the function is delete bst which considers two parameters one is the pointer to the root node another is the variable key which represent the deleted node the return type of the function is pointer to the structure so uh, here we here we employs three different functions the first function search the deleted node in the given binary search tree in the second function find the in order successor or in order predecessor which replace the deleted node having both left and right child we can have another two cases where we can have the deleted node as uh, terminal node or leap node or the deleted node which is having either the left child or right child.